I'm, I'm honestly mad. I, I'm furious. I'm really mad. I, I live in Spain, right? Spain is beautiful. It, it's, it's probably the best thing in the world. But the bad thing about Spain is that we don't have the Apple card. You Americans are all shopping all day with the Apple Card flexing everywhere and I'm here sitting like, I want the Apple Card. I mean, the Apple Card is amazing, it's beautiful, and it's... The interest rates kind of suck on it, but it's still awesome. And I want to make videos on it to show you guys the Apple Card and I'll... I mean, uh, I am grumpy. I'm, I'm grumpy because I, I really want to just, you know, use it and feel it. It looks awesome. I'm... So the least I could do is bring somebody as awesome as the Apple card to bring you some content and tell you everything that you need to know, the good, the bad, the horrible, the great of the Apple card. And you know, you know, you probably know who that is. It's my best friend on YouTube, the one and only BMAC. BMAC, what's up? Tell me everything about the Apple card, please, because I'm honestly really mad. Ugh. What's up, Nickius? What's up, Nickius' audience? I'm happy to be here on this channel. Nickius, thanks for having me on your channel, bro. Appreciate it. So yes, the Apple Card is finally becoming available in the US and in my hands right here, I've got the bad boy. So I've been trying out the Apple Card, I've been going to a few stores, swiping it, and there's a few things I've noticed that I love about the Apple Card and a few things I wish Apple would improve upon. As with every product, there's good, and there's bad. So let's start with the good, shall we? I mean, right off the bat, it's pretty obvious this is one sexy, credit card. If Apple were to create a credit card, this is pretty much exactly what you would expect from them. The build quality and aesthetic is phenomenal. And the card itself, in case you couldn't tell, is made out of titanium metal. So that allows for a pretty amazing look and feel when the card is in your hand. It has a very clean, minimalistic white matte front and back. And you also get some chrome-like accents on the sides and in places on the card itself where there's laser etching. So those little shiny parts where the laser etching took place definitely complements the overall look and feel of the card itself. You already saw me do this, but the sound of this thing makes when you actually clink it on a table. I love that. There's something so oddly satisfying about that sound right there. Love it. I don't know. Something's wrong with me. And with the Apple Card, obviously you could use the physical Apple Card that you get as part of the Apple Card program, but you could also use the digital Apple Card that you'll find in your wallet app on your iPhone. So you could use either the physical card or the Apple Pay card to actually make purchases with your Apple Card. And with either option, you get some pretty incredible privacy and security, such as having to use Face ID to authorize purchases when you're using Apple Pay, and the physical card itself actually having no numbers on it whatsoever. Then when we start to talk about the actual Apple Card UI within the iPhone wallet app, you'll instantly see that it's jam-packed with all sorts of info and colors that tell you pretty much anything and everything you could possibly want or need to know about your Apple Card. Purchases, alerts, activity, upcoming payments, associated interest charges, all that is instantly available within the wallet app on your iPhone. So all in all, Apple has made a credit card that is very easy to use and understand, with no hidden fees or unexpected charges attached to it. And then of course the card itself is free, so there's no annual fee, you could actually get the Apple Card free of charge. And all this sounds great, but with pretty much any product, there are still a few drawbacks associated with the Apple Card. A few things I personally would like to see improved in the near future, so let's break those down. For one thing, the Apple Card as a credit card itself, not the best. The interest rates are decent. They're definitely not high, but they're also definitely not like competitively low either. And then even though you do get cash back with the Apple Card, the cash back categories associated with the credit card Again, not really the best. As of right now, you get 1% cash back on all purchases made with the Apple Card physical card, 2% cash back with all Apple Pay purchases, and then 3% cash back on pretty much all Apple purchases. Personally, I wish the physical card had 2% cash back instead of having to use Apple Pay to get that 2%. That'd make this a little bit more enticing to use, but I get what Apple's trying to do. They're trying to get you to use Apple Pay more, therefore they give you a little bit more cash back with the Apple Pay cash back category, but still I would like to see a little bit better cash back categories with the Apple Card. Categories. Why, why did I say that weird? But something I do have to point out here, some of you might actually be excited to learn that with that cash back, you actually get that cash back on a daily basis, not a monthly basis or billing cycle basis like you do on other credit cards. So in other words, all the cash back you earn with the Apple Card, you will get at the end of the day on a daily basis, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. I tested this, I immediately saw the cash back I got at the end of the day in the Apple Cash Card associated in the wallet app on my iPhone. And for some people, that alone, getting daily cash back instead of monthly or billing cycle cash back, will be enough for you to actually look at getting the Apple Card. But that's pretty much what the Apple Card is. A Decent credit card, decent interest rates, decent cash back categories, but backed by user friendliness, privacy, security, a hell of a sexy credit card itself, and the ability to know anything and everything associated with this credit card right within your iPhone wallet app. For me personally, so far, I am loving this thing. I can't stop looking at it. I can't stop 
dropping it on tables. Just, I don't know, something about that. And I'm really excited to see how this Apple Card actually holds up in my daily life, in my daily purchase routine. For more Apple related videos, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my boy Nickius here on YouTube. You can do that by smashing the subscribe button right below this video. And for content similar to Nickius's, and of course, for more Apple Card content, you guys can check out my channel. Nuh uh, not in my house. Don't you dare shout yourself out in my channel. Don't you dare. I'm kidding. If you don't subscribe to BMAC, you will be Loki and I'll be Hope. Oh, and I'll wait. Don't worry. I mean, I have all day. Just tap the button. Just click subscribe. If you don't subscribe, I'm telling you, you'll be Loki and you'll not enjoy, you'll not enjoy being Loki. Go!